Hey guys, it's me again, the James Boy, and uh, this is a new episode. This is gonna be just a Pokemon and me oh. episode. So basically, this episode is gonna be a wee bit of a tutorial for getting uh, uh, Sylveon. If you haven't already known how to get it from you, come on. There you are. Basically, the best thing to do is you just pet uh, the Pokemon. Let's see. I'll try to find out it's we a sweet spot. It's when its eyes start. I'll find it. Is that up here? No. It's probably like one of these ears. But we'll go to here and we'll feed it. Ah. Quite fidgety, but it's quite an like. Basically, what you do is you feed the Pokemon and play with it. Oh, for God's sake! Right. Okay. So basically, what you do is you feed the Pokemon until it's not wanting to eat anymore. But you always know it's when it's about to stop eating. When it slows down, basically, oh, had that, it just disappeared. Right, okay, there we go. I think Eevee's is usually the best, uh, it likes its chocolate one better. But as soon as it starts jumping, it starts to have a, it's like it has a heart or something, or affection, basically. It's one, one out of five affection for you, and it starts jumping about. Uh, right, so I think I can feed it one more time. Let's see. Yeah. But see how it stalls a bit there? That means it's starting to get full. So what you do is you go up here. You play these three games, but the best one to play, not this one. The, the best one to play is this one. And because I've been playing it a wee bit more, I've been getting quite far into it. We'll play the ultimate version because the ultimate version is quite good for it because you can get really high streaks. So let's let's go. I might not speak a lot in this one. Basically, what you do is you have to just have a you have to pay attention to where the where the ball of yarn is going. And you only have three times you have three times to uh, the fail. Basically, and you lose. Basically, you get uh, these Poke Puffs from it. So, we we'll have to try it again, but I won't speak this time. Damn, I lost there. But there are three different types of. Uh, three. Oh, didn't mean to quit there. But basically, what you're best doing is to basically pet it every two or three games. Oh, doesn't seem to like there. Is it here? Oh, try and get its eyes. Right there. Right here. If you notice the eyes have changed a bit, to there, that means that's its sweet spot. So what you do is you just keep doing this for ages. See until its hearts, see until it stops uh, giving off hearts, it means it's, so basically I've got three there, but basically what you do is you just keep petting it. There. 
but as I was saying, there's three different balls of uh, three different types of balls of yarn. There's the one that, uh, that has just the normal sound; it just falls. Then there's ones that fall really slow. And what you hear is you hear a kind of slower noise of a falling. Like kind of, you can see the difference between it. It's usually kind of like plastic bag kind of shaped size. Then you have one that just falls right down quite fast. Oh, and that's me. I think it's on two hearts I've got of friendship. But uh, yeah, basically the three different types of balls of yarn is quite. It's you can under, you can tell what they are once once I can show you them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go go back and do another ultimate version, oh, the unlimited one. And I'll see. If I say normal, that means it's the normal one. If I say slow, it'll be the slow one. If I say fast, it's the fast one. This is the normal one. Okay, come on. When are, you, when are the other ones come? You can't really tell which ones it's going to be with just the colour, but there's a slow one there. Uh, but the noises are quite significant. Uh, quite, there's a fast one there, there's a slow one right there again, but, oh, didn't even have these on that there, damn, I just lost, but yeah, basically that's how it's meant to go, but what I'm going to do is, let me go back, I'm going to go back again, the reason why I'm going back is I know, to get Sylveon, it's at least two hearts of affection, uh, well, let's see. We're looking close. Let's see how many hearts I actually have fully. You go to the switch and it has two hearts. So basically what I'll do is if I run to Lumio City, there's a guy who gives you... Oh, let's see if I have any match with bag. I do. Right. I have six of them. And what Eevee needs is Eevee needs at least one fairy type move and two hearts of affection, usually. Once to learn refresh, let's see. I'll just teach it refresh. Oh no, maybe no, because it knows quite good moves. And now it's starting to evolve. So let's see. And this might be a Pokemon of my team, or not, but this won't fall into a normal uh, playthrough part. This will just be a kind of is known as Pokemon Me, basically. And there's Sylvia on there. It just needs a fairy type move and it needs two hearts of affection. So, there we go. But yeah, basically, the raining kiss. In fact, this might be like a really good move. So I'll get rid of Baby Doll Eyes since Baby Doll Eyes is not an attacking move for me. But I'll probably train this, this little guy up to. Probably, I have no idea. But in fact, I might just level them up to level you up to 24. I'll level up this wee guy level 24 since I have quite a bit of uh, rare candies. And I have one left over, so what Pokemon can, what Pokemon do I want to level up to 25? Mm. Level up Kurikara. Well, no, oh, I thought I said I thought I said I had four. No, one left, one left. But basically, that's Sylveon. What I'll do is I'll run into a. I don't want to continue on in case I ruin anything with the next story, so I'll just go over here, go into the Rhyhorn and battle for a bit. See what Sylveon's like in battle. Uh, just going to quickly fix the PPS, so it's going on to PPS. Uh, here's the Rhyhorn. And let's just go try and find it. In fact, the vines is still here. I can use sweet scent and see if that attracts any of them. Anything. There we go. And it does. So we'll see what Sylveon's like in battle as well. It's just a Helioptile, so that's electric, so Fairy won't. Fairy will have just a normal attack and hit. 
draining cash. Let's say draining cash is like pretty strong, in fact. But basically, I think it's like uh, Giga Drain, which basically you do damage and it gets half of the amount. But there's quite a few uh, moves like that where it's just it drains health off them and you get maybe half of it, if not a wee bit more. But yeah, basically. That's how Sylveon is, you get Sylveon and that's what Pokemon and me is basically like. What I'll probably do off stream is uh, get po the Pokemon and me stuff up. Probably try and figure something for now out with it. But uh, I'm just going to rearrange the team. But yeah, I think I'm going to use, uh, I think I'm going to just use Sylveon instead of Smeagol. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to actually have a look at my team now, see what Pokemon I need and I don't need. Personally, I don't think I need as bad as it is Machop. I don't think I need them anymore. I don't think I really need them. I'm just trying to figure out how, if my team's going to be overpowered or not. But I don't think I need him anymore. And I personally don't think I need Snowrun. But because of if Lapis can learn an Ice type move, then I'll be just fine. And the next next gym, I think, is level 24 and up. So I should be fine with just these guys. So yeah, I think that's. I think I'm gonna just stick with them. But what am I doing? I need to get my item back off of Snor uh, Smeagol. Move on to him. Would you have the Venus already? Right? So basically, what I'll do is. I'll probably do a wee wonder mail trade, no wonder trade thing with this one now. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully I help you can get, uh, help you get uh, Sylveon. So as always, enjoy. See ya.